And as the investigation into this fatal crash continues tonight, there is a focus on the type of helicopter they were flying in and the conditions that led up to the fatal moment. Yeah, Alicia here now. Uh, of course, local aviation experts weighing in on that part. So many questions as to what was happening when the helicopter went down. Absolutely, and there is a production facility in Chester County that's very familiar with the type of aircraft involved in this crash. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson spoke with officials across the industry, including some of our very own, who are closely monitoring the details. The helicopter Bryant was using would have been produced at a Sikorsky plant similar to this one in Coatesville. The parent company Lockheed Martin tells me that particular model wasn't produced here until 2007, but the company's website does tout the aircraft safety. Helicopter 2 Echo X-ray approved and are you transitioning in VFR condition? VFR condition 1,500 to Echo these are the final moments of communication between air traffic control and the helicopter before it crashed. The audio reveals the pilot was cleared to fly in foggy conditions. In that area, you get what's called the marine layer that comes in, which is essentially just fog coming off the ocean. Um, and for, for flying a helicopter in fog is, is really not a thing that you should be doing. Our chopper six pilot spent two years in the Army flying in Southern California. He said it would have been difficult to fly in those conditions. A lot goes into flight planning in there just because there's so much you have to deal with at once. Bryant told Alex Rodriguez's podcast The Core in 2018. He started traveling by helicopter to save time. I wound up missing like a school play because mm -hmm. I was sitting in traffic and this, this thing just kept mounting. I had to figure out a way where I could still train and focus on the craft but still not compromise family time. Mm. And so that's when I looked into helicopter. Now the NTSB is investigating the circumstances around the crash, including the condition of the helicopter, a Sikorsky S-76. The parent company says it has over 7 million hours of safe flight, but a Philadelphia aviation attorney says the model has had problems before. Since 1985, there have been 16 fatal crashes and dozens of other crashes of this aircraft. Um, which is high considering the number of aircraft that were built. The manufacturer also said if the NTSB investigation reveals any safety issues with the helicopter, it will tell its customers. In Coatesville, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. And you can head to our website, 6abc.com, for the latest developments on this crash investigation. You'll also find several stories about how the NBA legend is being remembered both locally and around the world.